Hello and welcome to your online physical geography course. I'm going to be your instructor this term. My name is Professor Jeremy Patrick, and the purpose of this video is a couple different things. One is to introduce myself to you, uh, and then lastly, and more importantly, I guess, is to really introduce this course to you. You know, I would like to be able to introduce kind of the course objectives, what my expectations are, you know, what type of assignments, and really just, you know, the, the fundamentals of what physical geography is and how you can better approach this course. I'm excited to share this semester with you and that being said, let's get started. As I said before, I would like to introduce myself to you. I think that's important because it provides not just a level of credibility, but just the stance of, you know, of how I'm approaching you know, academia and who I am as an instructor and how we can better work together as a team. So my academic journey starts a long time ago and I am the direct product of the community college system. Uh, I earned my associate's degree. I, I earned quite a bit of units. I think I had somewhere about, uh, about 210 units uh, when I left my community college. But from there I transferred to the CSU system. I went to Cal State Northridge uh, in which I earned my bachelor's degree in physical geography and then later my master's degree as well in geography. Along the way, I took other geology courses, and, and after I graduated there, I began teaching at a couple different community colleges across the state. And, you know, while doing that, I also continued my education. I uh, continued with the University of North Dakota for a, a graduate certificate in digital cartography uh, and GIS. Uh, I then more recently uh, completed a bachelor's degree in ge uh, geology from the University of Florida. So I've, you know, as I've taught and as I've worked with students, I've continued to expand my knowledge and also just my experience in a classroom, not just as the instructor, but also as a student. I think that's really important for you uh, and for me as well, because you know I not only am trying to engage and to excite and to teach and to really you know work and communicate with you, but as someone who's a forever student. I also am given the opportunity to, you know, observe and interpret the classes that I'm taking. You know, maybe I kind of like this, or oh, I don't like this. You know, and one of the things that you'll learn is, you know, one of my biggest pet peeves as a student is the length uh, of time that can go between submission of an assignment and receiving a grade. That really bothers me. I think that that's almost kind of disrespectful when you have to wait weeks and weeks to receive your grades back with feedback. So my policy to you in all my classes is that uh, I try to get them all graded within 24 hours of the last submission. So, you know, usually past the due date, give me a day or so and I'll get all caught up and, you know, be able to provide you not just your grades, but some feedback if, you know, if, if appropriate. Um, you know, other things that I think are important that you'll learn throughout this course is that, you know, my specialty is geomorphology, so landscapes, so I love field trips and, you know, and you'll see that in a couple different videos when we get to go out in the field uh, virtually and you get to experience that. But I think that's something else that kind of, uh, you know, I guess it makes me you know more humanistic in a sense uh, is that I'm a, I am probably one of the biggest Disney fans and so uh, you know, you'll begin to you know get a taste of that especially if you get to check out the additional videos on my YouTube channel but you get to you know see a different side of me which I kind of think kind of helps break that barrier that you know yes I am your instructor and I am here to provide you an excellent education and try to do my best uh, to make it engaging challenging and and somewhat you know a, important to your life. Uh, but I'm also on the other side, I, I'm, so I'm, I'm a super nerd, you know, and, and I really enjoy, you know, artwork and design and, and, and animation and just, I love history and I love culture and I love food and, you know, music and so many different things. So I hope that you get an opportunity to get to know me a little better throughout the semester. And that being said, I'm really looking forward to getting to know you a little bit more during this semester. You know, I get to learn more about you through your discussions, through your written responses, through your emails. And you know, if we have time, or or you come to a, an office hour of some sort, to just get to even see you there. Well, that's kind of my background. So let's get going and learning more about what physical geography is, and what my expectations are, and really what to expect this term. So what is geography? I think. 
all too often, <laughs> we assume it's just states and capitals. And I'm not saying that that's not important because geography is part of that, but geography as a whole, as we'll learn later on uh, this semester, is a very broad term that covers a lot of different uh, aspects. Everything from music to food, culture, language, gender, uh, you know, weather, climate, minerals, rocks, you know, this, the, the, the list goes on and on and on as to what it covers. Now this course in particular is about physical geography, which is really an exciting course. I really have a lot of fun uh, teaching this. You know, as we will learn throughout the semester is that physical geography is a spatial study of Earth's dynamic physical systems and processes. Some of the topics that we'll continue to learn about will be Earth-Sun geometry, weather, climate, water, landforms, soil, biogeography. Uh, uh, you know, we'll, we continue looking at uh, different environments such as rivers, glaciers, deserts, and coastal processes. So we really get a great understanding of just the world that we live in and then we get to talk more about the interactions that we have with our planet and that's kind of what physical geography you know encompasses and we'll learn just a little bit more uh, when we go more in depth now the next part of this course is you know what are you know what are some of the assessments and assignments that you can expect to find you know at semester by semester it does change up depending on the length of the semester and how uh, you know whether it be an intercession or not but generally what you're going to find uh, are kind of the same thing. The first thing, this is an OER course, meaning it's zero text cost. The textbook is something that I put together that's embedded in uh, in your Canvas or your uh, online modules. But with, throughout that, you're going to have you know some reading. You're going to have some additional YouTube video that could be lectures. They could be field trips. So I'm going to be really utilizing you know the the YouTube world because it's such a great way that I can connect and share you know you know that outdoor and even sometimes in-class experience with someone like you who's taking this course in a different time zone, different location, or you know, just whatever reason being that you're taking online, it allows us to create a classroom experience, and I think that's really important. So throughout our assessments, you're going to find that we're going to have uh, you know module quizzes where they'll just have a couple questions to just kind of wrap up the context that's learned. Uh, you'll also find discussion boards. Discussion boards are very important uh, because they're they're discussions. It's conversation. So you know I, I have very distinct and clear rubrics as to what I'm expecting for your initial posts, and then of course always to create that conversation with your peers by responding to at least two other students with engaging comments and conversation. You know and that's what discussion boards are supposed to be. It's supposed to be if you were in class and you looked over and were talking to, you know, one of your friends or another student in that class and say, hey, you know, I just heard on the news that, you know, we're going to Mars. What do you think about that? And, and you guys create that conversation. That's what a discussion board is supposed to represent. You'll also find short answer uh, module activities where you have to write up responses uh, and things along that sort. Uh, there will be a midterm and a final, but you'll find that really the midterm and final of these courses uh, are designed to be, in a sense, a reward for you doing all your due diligence and working hard through watching your lecture videos, completing your discussion boards, completing your short answer responses, and really engaging in the course content. Uh, you'll find that the midterm and final are very simple exams uh, that will really just reflect the work that you already done so you don't really get a lot of that out of you know, left field type feeling where you know like oh my gosh I didn't I didn't know about this now that being said a lot of students uh, more than it should be at least uh, find that the videos the lecture content you find are just there for fun I don't know they just don't watch them <laughs> They're there because that's supposed to represent the time that you would have been sitting in my class engaging in conversation with me. So it's very important that you really do watch those. I mean, you can certainly speed them up a little bit. You know, I still sound almost the same if you go like to 1.5 or whatever it might be. But it's really important that you take the time and listen to those and watch them. Uh, as you'll also see when we get closer towards exams, I've created playlists of material that I think will be very helpful when preparing you for the exam. Because once you've watched the PowerPoints, you've taken your notes from those PowerPoints and you've listened to me speak, well, then when you want to review, you just re-listen to it again. You don't need to re-watch everything. Play it in the background while you're playing you know, uh, Minecraft on your computer. You can listen to the audio of our lectures, and I think that will really help prepare you and really refresh your mind when it comes to reviewing that content and context. So 
you know, as I said, as you continue through this course, you'll see that I utilize a lot of different ways to assess and to engage. Um, I'm always open up for communication, so please comment below if you have any questions or things you're excited about or things that you got me nervous about. And you know, I'd love to be able to engage and communicate with you. You know, you know, maybe ways to not be fearful of what to expect. You know, online classes do require a lot of self-discipline, and that's going to be challenging. That's not it's not necessarily the course. It's just the self-discipline challenge to set that time aside to go okay you know every Tuesday Thursday night I'm gonna watch some of these videos and work on some of the assignments or whatever days you work best for you but I think that's gonna be your hardest part is really learning that balance of okay it's an online class there is content there is engagement that needs to occur uh, for both in course and out of class hours you know, how do I keep up with that uh, I will continue to send weekly announcements and notes when I feel like you know maybe you need some more help or if you need something but then again don't hesitate to reach out to me I get right back by email I think it's very important that we keep that corridor of communication open so that way I can provide additional assistance, help, and support when it need be. I'm really looking forward to spending this semester with you. Uh, I'm looking forward to sharing my passion of geography, just who I am as an instructor, as a person, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you a little bit more. Be sure to like this video. Don't forget to comment below if you have any questions, statements, or anything that you want to add, and we'll talk soon.